uh, okay, let's try this again. Uh, hey guys, um, I got this little application. It's Angular 7 using the Stripe elements. So let me show you. I tried to, you know, to record this, but something was uh, not working. But now, okay, maybe, um, yeah, let's, let's add the same. Okay, let's go to Stripe. To see, and strike dashboard should be logged in, and it was the black suit. Okay, let's go to customers. Should be this one. Yep, December five. Uh, 2 50 pm okay you can see the date okay two of those and it's working so this message is uh, being returned by the node and the stripe api okay these um, products are stored in mongodb i think i showed you before um, I think it was it was with the Stripe Node and MongoDB um, application that I show you. Um, okay, let me open this thing. Let's go to the page to the other screen again. Let's see in lab. This one is stored on MLab, so I can show you the products. Okay, let's log in. Let's see if this one is it. Yes, okay. So, okay, I can remove this and just, hey, yes. <clears throat> so, you can see I have the name, but well, this is not it. Sorry, let's go to documents. Why I'm here in this? Oh, that's not it. Um, where the hell can I change my freaking um, go back to databases? Let's see if that works. Yes, now let's try it. So, this one is my okay items black suit. Shirts, camisoles, and all that, um, all those products. Okay, just for controller, uh, shirts, camisoles, and black suit. Okay, so as I said, this one is using um, a stripe. Let's go to NGX stripe. I think this was the module. Yep, and let me show you as always. Okay, so we'll take a look at this later. So you can see how it works. Let's go to package.json so you can see what I have. Okay, it's ngx stripe. Um, on. I still use it this one, okay, because it's in Angular 6 and above. I'm using Angular 7. Okay. And I gave you this little introduction. So you will need to import the ngx stripe module into your application. Okay. How we do that? Let's take a look at the app module. So after we start, we used an ngx stripe module from ngx stripe, and we use this for root. And we add our stripe um, test key okay this one is the public key the secret key is on the other side is on the server okay so i'm using this one as you know you can add it on environment variables whatever you want so that's the first step let's take a look at this okay 
Yes, just support your library from AGX Stripe. Your publishable key. Okay. And here I'm using where's the card stripe service? It's a little tricky. At least it was for me. But I got it working. It explains things um, pretty well, but you know, as always, when you are learning something, there are some things that you don't get at the first time. So let's look for this. Right? No, I think this below Stripe service, a Stripe card. I'm using the card component. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, Let me give you a little tour and through all the components. Okay, I'm fetching the products, just returning a HTTP client from localhost 8000. That is my Node um, Stripe and Mongo API. Okay, I'm just doing that. On the products page, let's go here. I'm getting those products, okay, and I'm storing products data because I'm returning this uh, inside products, okay, and I'm using Engine to deliver those products into the HTML5 um, where I'm looping um, through each item and returning a div, you know, with the name, description that is, let's go. It's this div, okay, with the name, description, the image, and this is an element, okay, that um, AJAX Stripe allows you to create. No, no, sorry, that wasn't it. I think that was on, on React. Okay, I made this a payment form. Um, yeah, it was on React. On React, you have to do some other things, but here in Angular, I created this form. Okay, you create this one, let's go to payment form, to payment form, yes, and let's take a look at how it's implemented, okay. So I need HTTP client and headers to send a post request to the node and the Stripe API, okay. Um, okay, they even show you. I don't know why it's opening on my screen. They even show you. Let's see. Um, how to style. Okay. Using car options. There is not much into this one. You know, not much things to see. Or things that you see that you don't know how they really work how to really work with those but um, at least you know you will be able to make some payments or to integrate a stripe card into angular so i'm not an expert on this inject stripe or or anything okay but this is my implementation so in this case i'm importing the service the card component the options and this elements options, this is the uh, singular, okay? And I'm not using car options because um, what was car options? You know, they don't explain in great detail how to use most of these things. But well, some uh, modules are like that, so as long as it works, okay, I didn't find that, so, okay, and this is the response, because I made some calls before, this is the response I'm getting from my Node API, okay, I just wanted to show that. So, okay. 
So let's actually try this. Uh, everything should be working, yes. So let's go to the okay. This is the payment form. And why is not what is going on? Why am I not able to get what the hell? Man, I hate this thing. Okay, can I click and move now or what? Hmm. Uh, some things, uh, I mean, sometimes it's like VS Code freezes or something. I'm not sure. It didn't happen me. Uh, it didn't happen before. So I I don't know. It's okay. Let's actually go back to products. So you can see these inputs, okay? If you know a little bit about React, about React, <laughs> about Angular, um, okay, you should understand why I'm using those inputs. What I was going to do, okay. So this app payment form is this one, is this um, component. So I'm passing price, okay? Product, the product name, and the description to be added. Why the hell is opening on my other? Okay, what the hell is going on? This thing is so slow now. Okay, to add the. I think it's this one, right? There's another tab where you can see. Well, I think this one. This is the one I mean. Email description. This is what I'm passing. No, yeah, it's this one. Because else you will get an ID. I mean, I mean, uh, I think. So, if you don't specify um, a description, now you will get an ID number. So let's keep moving. Mm. Okay. Let me see. This one is the image. So, okay. I'm passing price, product, and description to the actual form and here are the inputs okay then I'm for the input and view child because you will need to get the you need to grab the instance of the card element Um, no, this one. I have this. They even tell you here. Let me find it if I can. I'm so blind. I can see it. Oh yeah. Okay. So you can access all the events it has. So just keep moving. These card options uh, allows you to change. Um, I think this was this button. No, no, no. Sorry. I did, I did this one uh, some weeks ago and I hadn't had a chance to record so I'm kind of remembering what the hell I think this yeah do they say that here element options do they say something here uh, mm -hmm. 
for of for or by using okay the fetch extract element you could use either the card output okay or by using a view child to get the card i'm using the view child to get the um, the card okay the extract card component let me show you um, i think i got it Uh, no, I can in fact this one, yes, it's getting imported here. Okay, so I'm using the child to get that one. Okay, to get card as a stripe component because I'm not mistaken, I didn't add anything here. This is just the form. Yep. And okay, you now as I remember this, <laughs> I know this is going to be a little choppy, but bear with me. Okay, your local to be Spanish, English, whatever you want. There are little, you know, uh, some parts into this implementation. I quite don't. Okay, I'll try to remember everything. But well, if I miss something, you can take a look at, um, you know, a AJAX Stripe to understand a little bit more. Just keep going. Okay. So we set an instance for our Stripe service and our HTTP client, okay, the service, bum, 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 bum. okay, is this one, and or HTTP client, of course, because we, we need to, to make a post request. I'm saying this in form group to be empty. This form group is just this, okay, these two um, inputs. Just name an email because I'm going to pass that to into a Stripe. So let's go to so you can see. Just okay. On submit, I'm getting the values of all these in these two. Okay, because um, from NGX Stripe card. That is the element that um, you will be able to access. You just need to add this NGX stripe and give it uh, some options. Okay, this one is um, available available once you import your um, stripe service. So, okay, I'm getting the form values. Let's actually go to the by function that is receiving some from data and we're going to say this you know or stripe service to create a token okay and in order to access this get card we need to have this view child as i said to access that event okay we pass a uh, here just um, something to create a token but in this case is the name Okay, or it should be the name. What the fuck am I passing there? So say I, I um, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes, yeah, try to get me value. Yeah, that is just so you can generate a token based on something. So. Do I have it? Hmm. Okay, let's continue. Um, so after that, this one, this create token, will create a token. We subscribe to that, and the result is going to be the token. Okay, of course. So we need to pass this in 
headers like content type to be application JSON and we need to um, send our information the result token that is in the result token ID that is the token okay you will be um, able to access the token ID that is even if I okay let's go to, to another one uh, this one let's go a uh, I don't know will speak let's say that um, w smith at hotmail dot com okay okay take my money okay this is the token okay you can see that I'm managing on my API the creation of the customer okay it should be okay you can see that and also adding the charge okay 20 bucks for the controller I will show you that in a minute so let's keep with this okay from the from that I'm getting the email and the name and this um, values are coming from the input okay that I'm passing onto the a payment form that is this element okay so okay once we get the object with all the information we want to pass we just make the HTTP client post to the API um, server in this case is a charge um, route we stringify that object okay we pass the headers so the headers are set here we subscribe to that and we get a data and I think this yeah I think I'm getting that message yes I think I'm sending just a message because I'm um, consoling that and that's coming from my database from that is from my API no sorry this is what I'm getting okay. this is what I'm getting okay this is what I'm uh, consoling the token the email the user the amount product and description and with all that it gets the card okay and um, the ID of the new customer transactions the currency you can add that into a field and change it just passing it the same gain the form data okay and passing it with the object into the post request in case you're using a different currency so let's see what I have on screen perfect perfect okay <laughs> okay so this is consoling okay let me even try something also that log again and um, transaction data and let's even add some things so I can see it okay let's wait for it to compile sometimes it takes a second to compile okay meanwhile um, also consoling the token the token is this one okay 
and if there's an error we are just going to um, console and log that error you can manage it however you want and okay it's already compiled but not why the hell is taking so much let me try okay it's reloading sometimes i don't know why it's taking a little bit more than it should be it was lightning fast before i don't know what you know but as i said okay let me even show you something let's go back to this element it says it does it doesn't want the ring okay let's say 20 can i say pixels oh i'm gonna wait for okay compile really quickly okay so you can see what that is managing it's managing this a uh, card element with this card options so this is an element options um, um type okay you can add some other um, attributes but they don't specify anything here and i'm not sure they should have a, a github repo i will take a look at that later um, or maybe if you can you can i mean if you want you can look for it but i'm just Okay, let's go back to maybe 16 pixels. That's the usual. Um, it's moving my. Okay. Every time it reloads, it's moving my Chrome into the other screen. So, okay. You can see that it's the same again. And let's maybe add something else. Let's maybe buy something. Well, buy to um, add another name. Or oh, let's say uh, again, the Smith. He's going to buy some shirts. Um, it was W Smith, right? Let me. I, I don't want to. Okay. Just so you can see that he's going to add another. Um, charge not another customer. Okay, we receive the token, and after that, uh, this is the transaction data. Well, in fact, this thing is returning from the server. So, what we are looking here is what I'm consoling from angular let me take a look at that that is um, yeah the token i'm not sure if no because it's not getting anything ah i'm not sure okay or even I just want to make sure what the hell is this thing because as I said I built this one in like two weeks ago and I haven't had a chance to to record let's see that again the Smith um, double Smith at hotmail.com a lot of 42s Yep, that was it. It's a message um, from the API. Okay, so this one is the message I'm returning. I will show you the API in a second. Okay. So in a nutshell, that's all you need to do. Let's recap. Um, let's go to a volume. Come on. It's freezing again, okay. Okay, let's wait then. Mm 
Was that hell? Okay, okay, okay. What the hell are you doing? Okay, it took one hour, but okay. So, in a nutshell, you install NGX, the Stripe, and you add the module, okay, into your app, um, app module TS. You declare inside the imports the NGX Stripe module for root, and you give it the publishable key. Okay, after that, you will need to go. To your element okay where you want to um, add the service the stripe service and the stripe card component okay those two elements as i remember are just for managing some um you know um editing into the attributes of the yeah you can see the style and you can see the local okay at least i think those are the important things you should be able to add i mean i mean and um, i don't know but you should be able to add into these element options since this one is the card uh, the currency but um, as i said you could add you know, uh, another input with the currency, and you send that into your server so you can manage that in an easier way using a Stripe uh, and Node. Okay. So after that, you create your form data. I mean your form. You instantiate your Stripe, and you will need you will need to make the post request. Okay. You create a token. You get this. Um, you can use this get card. With this um, view child, okay, you will need a view child in order to access this get card event, and you pass something to create a token with, and um, you subscribe, manage your headers, manage your data inside an object, you send that in a stringified form, okay, in a JSON form. Um, with the headers, subscribe to the response, okay, and that should be it. Once you make this, okay, everything is uh, managed on the server. So let's actually uh, save this one, close it, okay, and then let's go to projects. Where is going to okay? Let me move this one here. Let's go to okay. Let's try API. Open with code. Okay, is everything working fine? Let me see. Okay, it seems so. This this is the last part. Um okay, so we need or um I think this one is the the secret key. Okay. Remember that um if you want to try a stripe um, it's free so you can create your account at any time and you should be able to play with it. Okay, and let me okay let's give that um or another so remember that we are making the call to http 8000 uh, localhost charge okay not in that order but yeah uh, so i'm managing the request and the response okay i'm getting the request body and from the request body i'm getting the email and the token okay and since it's waiting for something um in sense you know i'm just managing let me go up okay here why you saw the squiggly lines there okay so in this case it will it will take this a hundred like one dollar okay because it's looking for cents not um 
at a specific amount, not an um, integer, but a float. Okay. So uh, it will take this a hundred box that it should be. It's going to change it to one dollar. So I'm just uh, multiplying that for a hundred. Okay. And I'm getting the amount. So I'm passing this stripe. I think I showed you this one on the stripe Mongo and uh, not. So this is the same, practically the same. I'm checking if um, on the customers list we got an email with the same email that we are receiving from the Angular um, front end. Okay. We manage the error and if, if there's something okay that matches this there's an email that matches the one we are getting um, okay um, if there's one we just I'm just considering that and I don't need to create any other customer okay the customer already exists so I just create a charge and I manage all this. I show you all this on the on the node and the stripe video. Okay. So it's essentially the same. And else, if the customer doesn't exist, we create a customer using customers create with the data. Okay. And um, then we create a charge. Just like that. Okay, so this is the API. And um, I think that's it. Um, remember to check out if you want to learn more, maybe to look for the report. This is the NPM page. Okay? It gives you the enough information to get started. But it's not, um, well, maybe if. Uh, you you need to take a look at this one. Um, in this case, I'm just using the cart um, element. Oh, and I, um, okay, I removed that one. So let's say to ngx. Let me find something because I forgot. Okay, this one. And remember that once you got the service, the Stripe service, you will be able to add this, this NGX Stripe card component, okay? And it will show you the card um, input. So you can access that with your child. Okay. I think that's all. Um, so... Let me refresh this one because just to see that the charge was added. Yep. So that's it. That's it for this video. And yeah, I will, you know, let's go to. Hello. In case I don't add the repo into the description, just um, take a look at my GitHub okay? and see if that's there. If it's not, if it's not there, okay, just let me know and I will add it as soon as I can. Okay? So that's it for this video and. See you on the next one.